good afternoon to all the participants who are present here my name is mohammad samiuddin i am from learning links foundation okay uh, we are the uh, resource center of uh, indian representatives of uh, ets uh, we take care of all the activities in india of tofl and gre okay so i am here to uh, present about the tofl examination and how to score high marks in tofl actually so my first slide is like uh, tells you about like what is tofl okay tofl is an english language where uh, ability to communicate uh, in four four skills reading listening speaking and writing it's purely an academic based and as well as uh, it's it's an academic setting uh, used in academic settings the questions will be used in academic settings provides a fair and objective uh, scoring uh, to give you a simple example why is we say that like for provides a fair and objective scoring is like uh, tofl scores are validated by software as well as humans from different countries uh, there is a software called era uh, which uh, validates the certain things and there are uh, for the speaking skills and other skills there are also couple of human beings who validate this and actually gives the score uh, provides valid reliable information to support the score users like uh, it completely differentiates the reading score listening score all those uh, which 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 is needed for the universities uh, and if you look at it tofl scores are accepted more than in 10000 institutions and uh, universities as well and more than 150 countries it is the one of the oldest examination and a well respected examination i'll give you much more brief in my next slide about that uh, to make a best score uh, best use of the score information some of the institutions uh, ets doesn't fix any pass score or fail score uh, but it's the uh, institutions who fix up the score the, the minimum score and the maximum score and as well as some universities also fix uh, the listening uh, the listening score reading score should be this much actually so moving on to the next slide so tofl test measures academic skills english skills way they are actually used in the classroom tofl test provides a truly unfair uh, un, uh, truly fair and uh, unbiased scoring so what is this uh, about like i mean if you have to give you a, a clear example okay uh, how does like there is there is something called uh, if you go to qs world ranking top 200 universities like ivy leagues uh, in australia geo8 these are the universities they still prefer uh, tofl scores okay and particularly like in us universities uh, ivy leagues they still prefer tofl scores why have you ever given a thought about like have why they uh, they prefer tofl score it's because uh, for example harvard harvard university conducts an examination called 24 hour examination okay you will be given a question paper okay where uh, you have to submit the uh, answer after 24 hours it's a paper with a question and you have you can refer google you can refer library whatever you want okay uh, so you have to submit that uh, after 24 hours now the game is like if you don't uh, uh, listen or concentrated or taken notes in the class properly uh, so you will not be able to answer that those questions so that's how tofl prepares you for the uh, uh, for those examinations okay uh it's like what you uh, read it comes in the listening what you listen it comes in the writing it's it's more of an integration integrated based uh, examination so this these institutions how they conduct the uh, classes is like uh, they will tell you to uh, read and come in the class before the topic is taken okay so you have to read and come to the class before the topic is taken and once you read that actually uh you will be able to listen properly once you listen properly you will be able to take down the notes properly and when you take the notes properly uh, when somebody is asking a question and you will be able to uh, answer it properly so it it's again coming back to it's a truly fair and unbiased scoring uh, uh, so it's it's not like a face on face interview where like your speaking skills are monitored 
so it is it is checked by the software as well as by the human raters as well from different parts of the world okay so toefl test gives you students a real head start over peers so like for example if you have a toefl good score okay most of the professors what they uh, when they have to give assistantship if the student has good toefl score okay so he get a good chances of getting assistantship okay so uh, the second point is that toefl test helps the students to get noticed toefl score is like if you have good toefl score professors prefer uh, those kind of students actually moving on to the next slide i'm straight away jumping to the uh, reading skills okay which is one of the important skills of the uh, uh, of the toefl examination okay um like for example there will be three to four passages approximately uh, 700 words long followed by 10 questions for each passage so example three out of uh, most questions are worth of one point but few are worth of more than one point what is this to give you an example of this uh th there will be a three uh, the 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 question will be asked and uh, three correct answers have to be uh, selected from the five and you will get three marks for that certain questions will be only one option will you have to get you will be getting one one option from it task design measures reading for the basic comprehension and inferences is nothing but finding out the missing points reading to listen test takers ability to classify and categorize and organize the information which is called reading to learn okay moving to next slide text types uh typically academic uh, uh there are like expose expository narrative argumentative persuasive okay uh expose expository is exposing information or revealing information narrative okay describing the what the event uh, uh, after it has happened even after it has happened that's called narrative argumentative argumentative would be between two perceptions uh, two people or an a perce perceptive or or any topic as well persuasive is indirectly forcing a reader to agree with the statement okay so abstract patterns of information so this description definition sequence procedure cause effect classification compare contrast problem solutions so types of questions in this okay there will be five uh, questions basic comprehension two questions from learning okay and uh, three questions from inference okay so i'm quickly moving on to the next slide basic question types would be vocabulary meaning of the term sentence simplification what does the sentence mean and uh, factual and negative effects is the facts what you get it from it reading to learn is like a uh, prose of summary summarize uh, it's nothing but summarizing the story uh, classify categorize organize classify is like uh, how you differentiate categorize is how you make it in order organize is how you make it systematic so in inference is what do you understand and conclusion of the reader after reading the passage that's inference so realistical purpose why is author using such examples why did he use this certain style of writing these are the question types should be coming in insert test is just to fill in the blanks quickly moving to the next slide i'm going to listen i'm going to the listening part which is the second part of uh, toefl examination conversations okay discussion with the professors it's a pure academic based where three to be uh, three to two minutes will be the discussion with the professors okay for example uh, service encounters would be for example discussion would be between two to three classmates it would be again uh, would be academic based lectures in lectures there will be a monologue where professor would be delivering a lecture interactive student and professor would be interacting that's one method or a student will be asking a questions and professors will be answering it so that's with interactive moving to the next slides uh academic lectures there will be three to four lectures with some classroom discussions only one each uh, conversation is about like three to five minutes multiple choice of questions each lectures is followed by six questions there will be also an informal informal ca campus conversations but two to three conversations will be happening okay uh, you will not be able to see the questions 
while you listen to the conversations it's 3 minutes long each call each conversations will be uh, followed by five questions here uh, you have to take your notes properly and be attentive and uh, concentrate on the on the uh, on the on the lecture uh, on the audio so next i'm moving with speaking skills uh, which is another an important skills where uh, most of the universities look at the speaking skills as well uh, test taker has to respond to four tasks one independent task about a familiar topic example what do you th the, these type of questions may be asked what do you think about water crisis in chennai uh, or do you like tea or coffee uh, it's just a 60 seconds answer you have to give it okay uh, and then the the most important point the section would be three integrated tasks one is like uh, you have to read listen and then speak so first you have to read and the same stuff would be played in the audio you have to listen that and speak for 60 seconds and second is listening and speaking task okay one it will be academic based for example problem in the campus okay the response is based on what was read and heard okay so you can take notes and you have to answer it very clearly so you'll get a very short time and uh, your your clarity of the speech should be uh, plays a vital role moving on to the next section writing writing is again an uh, important task which universities look at it because uh, you can't say that like i i have a good communication skill but only by speaking so you, you have writing also plays a critical role okay in the, similar to speaking writing task will also be similar to that one integrated task and one independent task in, in integrated task you have to read listen to the conversation and say on the same topic the questions will be asked for the test taker and you have to write so that is integrated task one independent task so it will be an independent question for example walking on the right side of the road is it always safe or telling truth is always good in relationship okay is this type of questions will be asked and 30 minutes of duration of uh, uh, will be given the test takers are advised to give valid examples valid reasoning additional skills how do i mentally focus and get good marks so focus on content not on the delivery so when some lectures are happening just focus and concentrate on the audio on the questions so focus on that don't get deviated so if you get deviated please put your headset uh, so that you can concentrate avoid distractions don't think what the other person is doing next to you okay anticipate what you will you hear okay so just think uh, think out of box that like what would the uh, professor would be saying at the next okay so that it makes uh, easier for you to concentrate and make notes properly stay active and ask yourself mental questions okay so what are the key points is professors making okay what is the core core information of the passage or what is the core information of the audio clip so that's the mental questions you need to ask i'm quickly moving to the next slide to the uh, one of the most important thing but uh, most important thing uh, for the uh, scoring high marks okay uh, like for example note taking note taking is very important and there are few methods like uh, you can there is something called keyword uh, you can write in short forms charting method charting method is like uh, starting from a broader perspective and coming uh, coming closer like like similar to like kind of on a flow chart start from the uh, top and then come down to the bottom uh, and then uh, outlining method is like uh, uh, on the broader perspective coming it closer uh, kernel method is like it's one of the foreign methods uh, where most of the students uh, uh, use this technique uh, what they do is like they have a paper and they uh, um, in the take you know, whenever you are free uh, take more number of notes uh, and as well as collect a lot of papers and write the uh, main point on the center of the page or on the left hand side or right hand side where you can put an arrow and make more points actually so paraphrase is a restatement what someone else has written or said using one 
one's own words. I I have to if I have to summarize this slide in you know, one sentence as it is an ability to use one short vocabulary or word so that it makes easier to go forward and answer the questions. Again, similarly, summarizing methods. Okay, summarizing a summary should a reading to learn is an ability to understand and recall. So when you read, you have to understand and also remember the points and recall it when you require. So that is the important point. So these are the certain things which is coming from August 1st, certain improvements ETS has done. My best score. So when you take uh, two or three uh, TOEFL examinations, if you are not done properly in your TOEFL examination. So what happens is like you can pick up and choose like from listening skills from my first examination. I have scored well. I can pick up that writing skills. I have uh, I have scored well in my second examination. I can pick up that so you can make you can frame your own scores of these three examinations. Of course, the last examination will also a last examination which you have taken those scores will be also shown on the left hand side of your application on the test report. Sorry. Okay. Now the second most point is the uh, the test has been uh, format has been reduced. Okay, shortened by 30 minutes. Nothing has been changed uh, with the question types or the pattern. Okay, it's three hours examinations. Okay, in other words, it's say, uh, it's fair and reliable and uh, preferred by the most of the institu institutions, as I said earlier, because it has an integrated skill and easier registrations. ETS has come up with mobile app to make the registrations process easily. Okay. Format of this examination reading listening speaking. Okay. Uh, these are the differences uh, which uh, the same thing like in reading there is three to four questions. Uh, whereas the questions will be three to four reading passages. Uh, it has reduced to 10 questions. Uh, from the August 1st in the in the in the new new TOEFL pattern in the listening there will be few lectures and three to four lectures and six questions and two to three conversations five questions each and speaking fewer tasks the task has been reduced it will be this four from six uh, now it has gone back to four tasks one independent task and three integrated tasks 17 minutes writing has no change it continues to be the same Okay, I'm quickly moving to the next thing. Uh, I will. Uh, this is one of the one of the slides which is very important for the test takers. Okay, you if you have phones, you can probably take a photograph of this because this has official website of TOEFL registration. How do you register? Uh, one of the important point is like like the third section is destination search. If you have a score, you can search the institution. If you have an institution. You can search that like what score they require. So it's just a vice versa, which will be really helpful for you. Information guide. A lot of students find difficult for online course and uh, online uh, materials and everything. There is something called MOOC, massive online open course. There is a link for that, which is there is something also a planner, okay, which helps the student to plan the activities and how to develop the skills as well. Uh, so same with that. There's an eight-week planner tips to build on four week, uh, four skills. Practice school practice tool is available with the questions from the past takers. Um, practice online test is available. TOEFL practice online test. So also you can see the test centers. This mostly happens. The test happens on Saturdays and Sundays. So you can see your locations, uh, which are dates are available. It's always advised to book the test two or three months before the examination uh, so that it makes much easier. But if you are confident that if you're going to take in this month, you can even book before six months as well. So ideally moving to the next slide. Uh, it's uh, my informations are there. OK, you I'm just holding the slide for a couple of minutes so that you can take down the uh, contact details of mine. Uh, whenever uh, uh, there is a TOEFL dedicated number as well, email ID as well. Uh, whenever uh, you have any questions pertaining to TOEFL or study abroad, any doubt related to the university, you can always ping me across. I'm available 24 by 7. My name is Mohammed Samyuddin. And uh, next, I'm leaving it to Mr. Vikrant, 
who is uh, who is from new horizons it's one of the uh, prominent and one of the best consultancies in chennai uh, so a lot of students go abroad uh, from this consultancy over to you vikrant and thank you credila uh, for giving us this platform and credila is one of the uh, good partners for helping the students to going for the loan uh, education loan as well so thank you very much thank you mr vikrant uh i am the proprietor of new horizons uh, thank you very much uh, credila to allow us to be on this platform to speak to the presenters as well as uh, students who are listening up or candidates who are interested in going abroad uh, new horizons has been uh, in india for the last 26 years i am the proprietor as cliche as it sounds by studying abroad you will become a much wealthier person and become more marketable to grad schools and employers because of the intangible life skills you're going to pick up along the way think of it as a gaining a sort of cultural capital the fact that you have studied abroad will answer many people's questions about what type of person you are even before they have to ask you want culture perhaps one of the best ways to experience culture is to live it which is exactly what you'll be doing as a study abroad student aside from gaining an understanding of cultures other than your own you will also gain intangible skills other than great selling point for your mom and dad independence time management organization school social skills and self confidence just to name a few will all develop exponentially when you are abroad there will be an, a moment while abroad when you will realize that you have made the right decision and you will treasure that moment mine was when i was on a vacation to europe and later went away to the us and ended up staying there uh, legally of course the moment that will come when all the stress from the first few few weeks of getting acclimatized is finally over and it's at that point you will fully grasp what you're doing and the magnitude of your decision to go abroad and your new found drive to take advantage of every opportunity that lay ahead of you i will like to go ahead to also further introduce the company uh as far as the mission of new horizons is to emerge as a respected international education service provider anchored on values of growth and dignity our philosophy has been we firmly believe that further education requires proper planning to ensure that students such as you choose the appropriate academic pathway what with this in mind we assist students by giving comprehensive information about the study opportunities whether it be in the us uk canada singapore germany france lithuania um uh, anywhere or any any part of the rest of the world we continuously believe in providing professional services to students parents and our institutional clients at times our background is that uh, i being uh, officially having studied and completed my high school my undergrad and grad studies in the us and having returned back in 92 the year of 92 93 started new horizons as having being asked by my university to officially uh, represent them and that's how it started off and uh, it's been an experience assisting students and helping them to get the right university easy transition of identifying and assisting them with the proper visa guidance the company also has placement cell that supports students who complete their courses abroad so we can also help you later on now the big question comes up is why choose going abroad experience a different style of teaching obviously you know every country has its own unique style of teaching studying abroad can help you expand your academic horizon and develop the capacity to adapt to various education settings and now ad adapting to any situation can be difficult but that also can take a little time and can help you and adjust to different management styles making you more versatile in the workplace teaching styles you may also inquire encounter abroad include authority style which is a teacher centered style where a professor is the authoritative figure which in most cases like is in india and frequently gives you long lectures or one way presentations this uh, there is a focus on a set of rules and expectations the students typically take note to retain information the other way is facilitator style where the professors promote self learning by emphasizing the teacher student relationship they help students develop critical thinking skills by teaching them how to ask questions and find solutions throughout exploration and the last could be the deliberatory style 
where professors assign lab activities and give students in-class projects to help them stay engaged. This is a guided learning style that places the teacher in an observer role by helping students remain active participants in the learning. And at times, what happens is you also develop your self-confidence. By immersing yourself in another culture, you develop valuable life skills needed for personal growth, including independence and adaptability. These skills can give you an added boost of confidence in your personal and professional life. Studying abroad can also be overwhelming, but the challenges you overcome can help you become a more mature person. You'll find out that you can often thrive in new unexpected circumstances and you'll boost your communication skills by speaking a new language, helping you further improve your self-confidence. Quality adapting to your new environment will also hone your self-reliance and be self-resilience from small, small tasks like going to a doctor, like uh, larger issues, like learning how to negotiate with a professor, adapt to a different cultures, management styles. Your daily life can help you choose to become a capable person. Studying abroad can also help you gain more confidence by improving certain skills that help you connect with others, such as leadership. Strong leadership and team management skills are important within almost any environment. Knowing how to lead and inspire the people around you can help you establish stronger relationships, whether you are working on a class project or a group or international students are competing with international internships abroad. Communication skills, where you, again, coming back to our TOEFL part, where we have uh, strong con concentration in listening, reading, writing, and ultimately speaking, that again helps you in strong written public speaking and negotiation skills are important to communicating effectively, particularly in our unfamiliar environment like a new country. Cross-cultural awareness, our experiences, values, and cultural backgrounds help guide our viewpoints and actions. Studying abroad reminds you to a cognizant other perspectives. Remember that what is considered appropriate in one culture may not be there in another culture. You also get to see the world, which is very, very important. Studying abroad allows you to see the world and travel to new places you would otherwise not have visited. During your time away from your studies, you can go sightseeing in a new country, uh, places like, well, like while you're staying in Europe, you could visit another country while you're there, work a little bit while studying, make up some little extra money, and experience life there. Studying abroad is also in a new country, exposes you to increase career opportunities depending on your field of study. If you are interested in finance, consider being in London or maybe in Hong Kong or New York cities or well being in business. If you are interested in technology, Ireland today or Germany, France gives you a good opportunity. Some graduate programs such as uh, courses which help you in, uh, let's say some countries and some universities which give you a good specialization also offers you, offer the opportunities of studying abroad. This can give opportunities to student consult for companies, experience diverse cultures and engage uh, with industry leaders. International education promotes global learning, fosters understanding among groups from diverse background and perspective and develops globally minded individuals. Being able to take over what's learning, focus in the classroom and apply it to different fields and which is, which is absolutely amazing. Some of the opportunities again, I would like to concentrate on uh, today are internships that are possible for students who are looking at studying abroad. Uh, cultural exchanges, values, networking, exposure, freedom, freedom to relive your own life and your uh, 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 system. And also, obviously, the high quality research that are provided by various countries such as Canada or the US or UK. Um, why, why us? Why New Horizons? Obviously, uh, having studied abroad, I have I had the experience of being there, done that, uh, I have been in this field today now 26 years, which gives me a little added advantage of advising a student on how to get across there, settle in, uh, understand which are the better universities. Uh, we kind of work on a one-on-one -on -one basis, uh, shortlisting of universities, uh, looking at, um, we also ran a coaching center for the GRE, the GMAT and the TOEFL today. Personally, I feel it's not so necessary that a student needs to do coaching. They can kind of, uh, there's a lot of information online. There's a lot of support from the TOEFL uh, people themselves. 
from uh, the GRE uh, organizers, the ETS, as well as IELTS. Uh, so I personally feel if you spend a little time, maybe do about a four or five mock tests before going in for the main exam, you should be able to uh, do pretty well for yourself and save a little bit money where required. Uh, Pre-departure is something that we can also support you with. We could also work with you on uh, personalized counseling, assisting in developing the SOP, redefining your uh, resume. I've heard students pay up to about uh, 2,500, uh, around 1,700 to about 2,500 US dollars in remaking their resume, which I personally feel we can help you with uh, when and if required. Uh, we guide you on career. We guide you on the passport, the visa requirements, the costs, the health uh, nutrition requirements, the legalities, coping, coping with uh, uh, settling in there. We can assist you with countries in the US, with uh, Canada, with Ireland, with uh, uh, Japan, when uh, if required. Full tuition fees, as far as uh, fees are concerned, I think that's on a very personal one-on-one -on -one basis, depending on uh, every uh, country. It can range, courses can range right from about, let's say, four and a half lakh today till about, about 70, 80 lakhs, or even hit about a crore, as far as uh, expenses are concerned. Uh, certain exams that are required uh, today, essential exams of the IELTS or the TOEFL, where required the GMAT or the GRE is a required examination. We can assist you with, with that also, as far as uh, the examinations are concerned. Uh, I would like to leave you with my information here, and I would definitely encourage you to go to my website, which is www.newhorizons.com, and New Horizons, which is with a double Z or a double Z, that's N E W H O R I double Z O N S dot com. And uh, I'm around here, we can support you. The website is just made recently, maybe about two days ago. You could probably go on to the website and get as much information. You could always come back to me with uh, inquiries. You can uh, post your questions across, and I'm here to assist you personally with the process. Yes. So I think what we can do is now uh, feel free to go to the questions. Okay. How much does the TOEFL cost? This is Mohammad Samyuddin. How much does the TOEFL test cost? It's one eighty dollars. We'll score recipient. Yes. We'll score recipient except scores from the pre previous test. Yes. How many times a TOEFL exam can be taken? It can be taken n number of times. Okay. What is the validity of a TOEFL exam? Or the test the validity of a TOEFL score is uh, two years okay and what is the maximum score of a TOEFL exam uh, maximum score required for the top universities it depends upon the university what you choose uh, ETS doesn't fix uh, any uh, score limit it's fixed by the universities can TOEFL exam be given yes can TOEFL exam uh, can TOEFL exam be given for Australia yes uh, for our, even for the immigration purposes, Australia accepts TOEFL scores. Uh, GO8 kind of universities uh, accept TOEFL scores. Uh, almost all the universities in the Australia accept TOEFL scores. There is no bias with other examinations. When should the TOEFL exam given? The uh, TOEFL exam can be given uh, during the ninth grade, the tenth standard, the eleventh to twelfth. You could do it. Uh, probably just one year before you graduate if you're in uh, college at the moment that gives you sufficient time uh, what if the test is rescheduled or there is a program at the test center you will be intimated in your ETS login ID uh, where if you have to uh, if you log in the, the details will be mentioned completely for New Zealand also TOEFL required Yes, uh, for the most of, if it is a top university, definitely uh, TOEFL is required. And uh, it's good to have a TOEFL score, even though you're going for New Zealand. But if in case of job purpose, uh, if you want to migrate to US, uh, it would be better uh, within, uh, you finish out of your course within one and a half years. And if you're planning to migrate to US, it is a good option. US will ask for TOEFL score. 
Okay, I guess we don't see any more questions. Okay, fine, we've got two more questions here. If given two attempts of TOEFL, which should be considered? Uh, so the, the best course you can pick and choose if you are giving two attempts, okay, uh, you, you have to first see which, which score, uh, which exam score is high, uh, highest, okay, and you can also frame a score by picking uh, the first attempt, listening skills, uh, if score is high, and second, uh, second attempt, uh, writing skills is, uh, is high, so you can frame my best course, okay, so it's called as called my best score, so you can pick up and choose the, the best scores from the both the tests and frame one score so that that will show us as my best score and also it will also the uh, the 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 application the test score report will also show the uh, the last attempt score as well and the best score what's the difference between the TOEFL IBT and the TOEFL paper delivered test so TOEFL paper delivered test is not uh, delivered in India. So a TOEFL IBT is an internet-based examination where you will have a computer and you will have on a microphone and uh, and on the speakers, which is which you have to take the uh, questions. Okay, we'll go on to the next one. What is the fee refund policy for this exam? Okay, so if you have to if you have to cancel it, cancel it before six days or seven days of the examination. So that uh, the, the your fees will be refunded. Okay, combined best scores valid till what time? Two years. Two years. Yeah. And the combined best score. I think that that's the same 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 yes. answer. As Two years. The highest score is a one twenty. Highest score is the high one. Total score is one twenty. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay, I think uh, that makes our uh, presentation for the day. Thank you. Any more questions? We leave it up for any more questions. We can wait for a minute or two. Thank you also for logging in. Thank you.